good morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake, cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, February 12th. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Enjoyed your Chiefs coming out victorious. Uh, S&P is pretty flat, down two. NASDAQ down 11. Russell up three. Dow down 33. Pretty flat. Gold slightly red. Silver slightly green. Notes and bonds slightly green. 10-year yield slightly red oil and natty gas down a little bit grains a little bit mixed euro and the pound slightly red bitcoin up almost 1.5 percent vix up three and a half percent sitting at 13.38 there you go chad i didn't see it before on there there you go. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. So uh, my plan today is I'll be doing my AM Monday AM ratio iron condor. I'll be doing my one DTE iron condor. I'll be doing my re-entries. And I was thinking about doing my 9.45 AM Monday, Wednesday trade from last month i'll decide a little bit later if i want to do that but it is a monday hopefully mondays are being mondays again expected move for the s p 17.3 a little bit smaller than last week yeah pretty low that means good things for iron condors i've got a uh three four dte i'll put on this morning and i've got some some other calendars that i'll need to take off yeah 2025 20, wide For the four dollar strikes. Opening bell in ninety seconds. Covering just under the all-time high that we set Friday. 50-30 in the S&P. Thirty seconds till game time.
There she goes. There's the bell. So my bots will kick in about one minute after the bell. Set up my expected move line. S and P pushing up, trying to go positive. Russell in the green. Been playing around with these five wide. I'm going to try one on NDX this morning. All right, so here comes my bots coming in. All right, so I got my one DTE iron condor. That was on the 4995-5055s. I got my AM ratio filled at 1935. That was on the 15s and 35s, so 20 wide. Why is my toss not showing me my groups? I was just looking at between 20 and 25 discount. My calendar spreads are off as well. I don't think I'm at $25,000 on my 6.7 or $9,000 on my 5.7. Something's off. Does anybody else have any issues? Having issues both on toss and oh, I see what I was doing. Never mind. That was a user error. My toss was a user error, but on my trade error, something's not coming in right. Yeah, Sandra, right, check my trade plan sheet in the trade plans channel. That's where you'll find every single one of my trades. All right, so there's my one DTE on the 55s and 95s. Here's my AM ratio on the 15s and 35s. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Dick K. Okay, so I'm going to shut down my 
trade hawk and try to reopen this thing because my I gotta get my calendars off and put one on, but something's not coming through correctly. So give me just a second, Chad. Feel free to chime in if you have anything. Yeah, nothing quite yet. <clears throat> looking at looking for that first push. Looks like it's trying to push up. NASDAQ has gone green. S&P just went green. Already getting some good decay coming in. Already up 12% on my AM ratio. S&P trying to push through pre-market highs. Hasn't been able to do it yet. Keeps getting rejected. Got some stocks pushing highs today. Baba. Getting hey, stronger. Hey, or anybody who's in the uh, 3.6 and 3.7 DTE. How are those looking? I For some reason, my my broker is not. It's showing I'm down 7,500 in my 3.6, up 9,200 on my 5.7, up 25,000 on my 6.7. So I don't. I just don't, I don't even know where price is trading on those. Something is not going on correctly. So would somebody mind telling me approximately where the three seven is? Well, you don't have the same strikes. Never mind. I'm on the ninety fives, forty fives. Is it trading around thirty one fifteen? That one actually looks like it might be right. I'll try to order. Try to get an order in. All right, so that one filled. That was my 3.7. Should have booked about 8%. It's the other ones that are not. Looks like the data's off.
Okay, so my three six. I got in at twenty three ten. Let's see what it's trading at. Okay. Well, the prices are right. It's just something's messed up on my. It's showing my profit. Okay. S&P still having trouble breaking through those pre-market highs. Yeah, choppy, choppy. Uh-huh. All right, so I closed my 3.6 and my 3.7, just posted those. My five seven and six seven are not being displayed correctly, but I don't need to close those now anyway. But I do need to put on a three four. A lot of stocks pushing highs of day, though. Roku, Meta, Tesla getting strong. Square pushing up. All right, just posted my new 3-4 DTE. All right, so I'm out of calendars. I'm done with my calendars for the morning. So my AM ratio is currently up 13%. So far, so good. No movement. VIX is pushing up, but getting some good contraction. Yeah, the one DTE not seeing any decay yet. Still waiting to see if S&P can push out of this little consolidation here. So here's my AM ratio up 14%. One DTE is down 3%. And then in my other account, my re-entry that fired for the entry is up. 
VIX popping up a little bit, up to 13.48. Pretty close where it opened overnight. Riot blockchain up again. Apparently the Bitcoin miners are back in business. Piton getting a little bump. NVIDIA hit new all-time highs. That's stocks coming down now. Tesla retreating. Yep. Regional banks are green, energy green, retail green, real estate green, semiconductors a little bit green, financials pretty much flat, tech and healthcare slightly red. <clears throat> So here with price action, we got just a two bar push out of the gates and starting to consolidate here. Interested to see over the next 20 minutes here if it pushes either up through highs or comes all, comes back down. Dow pushing highs of day. Not quite sure which way this market wants to go quite yet. VIX continuing to add. Video coming down. Got a uh, an iron duck in SPX. 
that yeah i'll give it another day or two it's close to getting pulled for pulled early for big profit but Got about a 15% chance it could still get down, back down into the deck head, so I'll give it a little bit. Rhett, same story. Yes, yes. I'm trying to push up. MES uh, strangle close to rolling up puts again, but not yet. No movement. So today Russell. we've got a couple of Fed speakers. One actually started about 10 minutes before the market opened, Bowman. Due to deliver a speech titled Defining a Bank at the American Bankers Association Conference. And then at uh, the higher impact one is Barkin at 11 a.m. Central, due to speak at the Atlanta Economics Club. Tomorrow morning, pre-market CPI. Uh, we've got FOM speaker right after the market closes on Wednesday, so really nothing, no news on Wednesday. Thursday, Empire State Manufacturing Index, retail sales pre-market. Friday, PPI pre-market and consumer sentiment 30 minutes after the market opens. Be trying to get through highs. Four point range so far. 25 minutes in. And for some reason, the VIX is creeping higher. Maybe they're trying to pump a little in for barking. Yeah, there's the federal budget balance at 1 p.m. Central. Oh, 
I'm not quite ready to enter an iron condor. I know there's been some tight range, small consolidation here. I'm just waiting to see if this is going to break through it. acting like it wants to. Yeah, they're definitely they're pumping pumping premium into the one DTE, but they're still taking it out on the zero days. My one DTE is still in the red, but my AM ratio now is up 15%. S&P pretty close to breaking through. You got an upper expected move today of about 50.44, 5.009 to the downside. Roku and Meta continuing pushing up. Well, my friends, I called it early for the live stream. No movement, which is good for those positions already on. I'm going to look at entering my first uh, iron condor here. We go. Just got filled on the... That uh, fifty forty calls, fifty fifteen puts, fifty points wide. First iron condor of the day. It's having trouble breaking through here in tight range, so I want to get one in before premiums get sucked out. Dark Avenger, are you uh, referring to the back to back world championships? I did. I did. I did bring it up a little bit at the beginning. You know, I didn't want to rub it in everyone's face. I know not everyone's a Chiefs fan. I did have some good. Uh, I went. I did go four for four on my Super Bowl bets, though. Nice. So I, I have an account with DraftKings, but it's, uh, you know, it's still not legal in Missouri. So it is in Kansas. So you know, sometimes I'll drive over to Kansas, put my bets in, because it just has to have the location device on your phone. So I didn't really bet that much this year. I think I put 500 bucks in the account and I had like $882 in the account. And so I was in Wichita for my son's track meet. So I was like, oh, I got to get my, got to get my Super Bowl bets in. So I had $882. So I bet 300 bucks on the Chiefs money line. So that one, I bet 250 bucks that the 49ers would score between 21 and 30 points. That one, I bet. 250 bucks that the Chiefs would score between 21 and 31. That hit. 
And then I, so I had 82 bucks left in my account. I was like, oh, I got I got to let this one. I got to put this on something. So I was looking for something, you know, low probability, high, high payout. And so what I found was there's a bet that was the Chiefs will be down, will be losing with two minutes left and they'll come back and win plus 1300. <laughs> that no way. So I won like 2200 bucks. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's a lock. Chiefs are always down. They come back. Yeah, it's a good thing we won. Otherwise, that Travis Kelsey tirade would be really blown up today. I don't know what he was thinking. my favorite though was Andy Reid's response to it when they're asking about it he's like he's like yeah I don't know what happened he just came out of nowhere it startled me <laughs> well S&P tried to break out of the range coming back in yeah just couldn't Yeah, the TGIF, it's up a little bit. My 5.7 DTE double counter is still showing that it's up 140%, $9,400. 9, I don't know what's going on with Tradier. My six seven has come back to reality. It's up about nine percent. Yeah, aim ratio up. Mine's up nineteen. So yours is up 105. There's a uh, there's a per, there's a PL percent column too, Dark Avenger. I like to do it so it shows what you're up percentage wise. But uh, okay, so you're 105 on a three lot. I've got an eight lot. So a couple 250 ish, maybe. Let's see, you're on the 7570s. I'm on the 7570s. Yeah, same strikes. Huh. I wonder I don't know what's going on with mine. I've closed it, reloaded it, still didn't come back to normal. Here's what mine looks like. All right, my friends, I'm going to get off here. Everybody have a good day. We will be back for Power Hour Live. And we'll see how these, uh, see if our Monday plays like a Monday today. All right, all. Take care. Chat with you soon.